money right now. Wait, there's still- Wow, you've got a lot of those, damn. Whew, look at all this crap we're selling. Uh, Beetle Brown, your average everyday beetle, probably not worth much. A beautiful insect whose color changes depending on the angle you view it. Uh, a mask belonging to the god of war, pressed down, passed down through the generations. The ancient idol charged with controlling the phases of the moon. <laughs> We're selling all of this precious artifacts. Okay, well that's all sold. That's kind of cool. It shows like what kind of treasures are left. You know, we don't have them, but they're still kind of like there. Well, let me check for time. Whoops. Press the button I didn't mean to press. Uh, we're okay. We got like 10 minutes left. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> uh, let's see. Upgrade the pistol? Yeah, why not? I've got lots of money now, so yeah. No? Okay, go back. See, buy. I can buy new things. What can I buy? <laughs> the Magnum. I already have that, though, unfortunately, so I don't need to bother with that. Although, there is one thing I do want to do, actually. Organize. Magnum, where are you? There you are. Upgrade. Capacity. Yeah. There's a nice little trick. If you have no item ammo, you can upgrade the capacity and it gives you a full ammo. It does that with all the guns. So, yeah, you should do that from now on. Shotgun. I'm going to upgrade the damage if I can. Which I can. Cool. And capacity. I'm going to upgrade that too. Oh, okay. Anything else I want to upgrade? Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to buy Sheva that other gun. Yeah, I'm going to buy it for her. Why not? Uh, yeah, I'm going to buy her the other gun. Uh, organize. I'm gonna upgrade it a little bit for her. I'm just gonna give it 200 damage. And that's all I'm gonna do for that. And then I'm gonna give that to Sheva. And I'm gonna sell this piece of crap handgun. Uh, is that everything? Yeah, I think that's everything. The Alambella training facility is established in the Arkale Mountains with something something. Ooh, another cutscene. Execution ground 3.2. <sighs> Saving. Saving. Alright, let's see what we got now. What's in here? Handgun bullets. We need those, actually. I'm gonna miss Sheva, though, because, well, no, she's alright. Oh, cutscene. This looks vaguely. Whoa! Um. Okay. Do I have to fight an alligator boss? Maybe. Maybe. Because I remember them sacrificing stuff in number four to uh, the fish thing. And that thing you had to fight later, so. I'm assuming I don't want to go near the water. So let's get away from the water. The water sounds like a bad idea with that giant alligator. And of course, there's enemies. Uh, you can die? No, you're not. Now you're dead. Gold. And my way. I use my shotgun way too much, I'm not gonna lie. Woo! Oh god. I think there's Lost Bogus now. I think there is. Ow! Asshole! Oh, fuck me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh god, not lost blog, it's out of the head, but out of the back. Just as bad though.
Oh god, oh god, oh god. Gold. Whoa. Okay, I think we want to actually go back over here. Reload real quick. Oh god, now what? Okay, so apparently you put up the gate. That's a bad thing, I'm assuming. Alright. Oh, I see why it's a bad thing. No, wait, no mind. Go up here. Okay, I see why it's a bad thing to come up here. No, oh, I stopped you before you shoot me, that's right. Yeah, I stomped on you by accident, but I wanted to do it. Or that's a good thing to do. I like these tight corners with a shotgun. Like you can just kind of go boom, and they just fall off the edge, and then the giant alligator that just noticed ate that dude. Which means that we should never go in the water in this game, unless we want to get eaten by a giant alligator. Alright, well, let me see how we're doing for time. Uh, you know, I'm going to think I'm going to stop it here.